Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to create this geometry using 3D Experience Katia V6, the uh, part design application. And yeah, this is going to be another video which I'm going to record full in English or at least I will try to. So let's start with this geometry. So if we go into Katia, this is the geometry with a bigger dimension, so we can check the dimensions as a starting point. So as you see clearly, we can use here circular pattern to create these uh, notches, or we can do them manually because I mean these are just three notches, so that's not yeah, it's, it's not going to save too much time. So then we will create the the main cylinder and these pockets for this hole and this tiny hole vertically as well and uh, let's check what else do we need to do so we have a cylinder here which has a counterboard hole and another hole there so the hole stops there and we have this tiny hole and the base so let's start with the base itself so in order to do that we are going to allocate our sketch here and let's create a starting point a circle which will be 130 millimeters of diameter uh, let's change this to be diameter this to be easier 130 so we have the the main circle and now we need to have a couple of lines one there one there these lines are going to be symmetric with vertical axis so and let's do symmetry yeah. there we have and we have 120 degrees angle between them so now we can remove this portion that we don't need it anymore and we can create now the uh, this notches there so first one let's allocate it regards the vertical axis again with a symmetry constraint there we have so we have here the dimension is let's put 10 millimeters and the depth from this line into this one is 15 millimeters. Okay, we have the first one ready. So now we can just using quick trim. Okay, remove this, this, and this. And as you see, I'm having a problem with the width because I have been using part of the line that I have removed so let's add it again here on the bottom 10 millimeters we have it completely green so now we can create the remaining two notches so we can create this line which will be a construction line let's allocate it an angle here 60 degrees and now let's use instead rectangle just remember to deactivate the construction line okay and we have this dimension will be 10 millimeters let's see if i can pick it 10 millimeters there and from there to there we have 15 millimeters and again here we can create a symmetry regards this line that we have created symmetry there okay and now we can yeah, do a symmetry oh, let's try to do it so if i pick this and if i pick uh, symmetry no, i want mirror because if i use symmetry it will just do the symmetry but it will remove this geometry and i want to keep both so there we have and now we can just quick trim this portion that we don't need and this is going to be let's see the base of 
of this geometry. So let's go back and create the the pad which has a length of 20 millimeters. Let's select the sketch and there we have this first uh, geometry. So now uh, we need to create the cylinder. So let's uh, create another sketch there and create the cylinder in this case. And the outer diameter of this cylinder is 62 millimeters. So if I pick there, 62 millimeters. Okay. And so let's check one thing here. So, so this line looks like it is replicating, let's see, where the triangles join together. But it is not, yeah, I think that this middle hole is going all through, but it's not clear because if that's the case, we should have here a dotted line as well. So I'm going to consider this hole that is going to go all through the geometry with a 25 millimeters diameter, but we will add it later on as a pocket. Let's put it there and let's do a path of, let's see what dimension do we need to. So I think that that dimension is, has been missed in the uh, geometry because we have this 52, but we don't know what is the total height of this the cylinder. So let's take or consider this 10 millimeters. So let's make it 62. I mean, dimensions are not very important in this tutorial because here the target is you to learn the basic operations is to create the geometry or real geometry in the future so for this i'm not going to yeah, waste too much time just checking all the dimensions so maybe i i miss some of the dimensions but and let's just one second but at the end what we want to do is be able to use the basic operations with simple examples and be capable to create more complex geometry so here we have a diameter 40 millimeters we are going to use here again a multi-pocket operation so i have used it in some of my previous videos and this is 25 so we can create a pocket or two pockets with one single sketch so now if you go to model uh, find multi pocket select the sketch and it will detect two domains so one will be 40 millimeters uh, let's see okay 40 is this one and this one will be the total length uh, will be 62 plus 20 82 millimeters we have there uh, have a 40 okay uh, sorry the depth is not 40 it's 26 so I have made a mistake there. So 40 is the diameter, 26 the depth. Okay, so we have that. So now we need to add a chamfer here, 12 millimeters, 30 degrees. So if we pick chamfer, uh, will be that corner, 30 millimeters. Okay, and we need, let's see, uh, we should use length and length should be 12 30 yep there we have the chamfer okay so we have the top of this geometry finished we have the base as well with this hole going all through and we just need to finish with this remaining teeny hole there so hopefully you are still here with me so if that's the case this is because you are yeah, enjoying this video so if you are enjoying it and you would like and you want to uh, give me a thumbs up 
I will appreciate that because that will mean that these videos are useful for people like you and I will keep generating or creating more videos with different and very interesting geometries. And finally, we have this dimension, which is 52. OK, we have it there. We can go back and here is going to be a pocket and we can re reverse the direction because we want only on the top portion. And that's all here. We can say that we have completed this geometry using B6. So the interesting let's see, operation that we have used here is the multi pocket. All the other operations are really basic operations that you use yeah, almost in 100% of the time that you create a, a 3D model. So that's all from my side uh, for this video. So if you have not subscribed yet into my my channel, now is the time to subscribe into it, activate the notifications and you will be able to watch more videos like this one in the upcoming days. Okay, have a good day. See you soon. Bye.